Welcome back to Fishing Tutorials. Today's video is going to run through how to check the depth whilst float fishing. To give yourself the best chance of catching a fish, it's really helpful to know how deep the water is in front of you. Now for this, we use what's called a plummet. I'll take one of these out of the pack. It's basically a heavy weight that will pull your float under. You push the hook through and then tuck the hook into the soft plastic underneath. That means that can't fall off whilst it's in the water. What this will enable you to do is swing it out into the water, like so. And if the float disappears, you're fishing too shallow. If the float lays on the surface, then you're fishing too deep. My float has gone completely under there, so I'll bring it back in. And because I'm too shallow and that float got pulled under, I need to slide the float upwards just a little bit and then try again. And that time the float sits just above the water surface and that means that the hook is on the bottom, the float is sitting on the surface and I'm fishing exactly the same depth as the lake in front of me. If I wanted to go deeper, I could push the float higher. If I wanted to go shallower, I could slide the float down. But a good starting point is to fish the same depth of the water that's in front of you. The method that we just showed you obviously works with the whip close in, but will equally work the same when you're using a waggler further out into the lake. For more information on what floats to use in what situations and how to get the most out of your float fishing, check out the video that's on screen now for a full float fishing tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you soon.